I believe that it's got low asset values, a strong RAND. Now people argue with me, but the RAND's weak, but if you look at James Painter, it's very strong compared to where it's going. We can make a strategic investment rather than crisis management. We can control the variables. It's a great opportunity. You know, there's great opportunities if you've got capital at the moment to unlock opportunity in America because they don't have capital. And lastly, with our foreign direct investment and our personal allowance, and this is a very simple graph for me, but just in terms of long-term trends, the RAND's doing one thing, the cost doing another thing, and the longer we wait, our problems are getting worse. Hi there, yes. I started looking at uh, US property investments um, at the end of last year, August, uh, September last year, and um, uh, I got introduced to, to and I attended one of Scott's, uh, Scott's uh, seminars, and um, I was quite fascinated about his passionate passion and energy he's got for, for the property industry, especially the US, and um, yeah, I then decided to go ahead and, 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 and buy property over there and we did that in August of last year and uh, all on Scott's, uh, Scott's advice and, 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 and their uh, expertise in the field and yes today has been we've, we've met with the, with the various service providers that's out here from America and I really think it's a, it's a great opportunity for everybody to get uh, the exposure for the, for the US uh, property market. The eight reasons for America, it's a mature first world market. It's got a common language. If you've ever tried to invest in Spain or, or China, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's got well-developed property laws. It's got enormous size. One thing I really like about America, even over London and Australia, is that in Australia, as an example, it's a small market, it's very transparent. Often if you find a good opportunity, it's already been seen by all the top Aussie investors already. Whereas America is massive. Do you know that we've got a Joburg is an MSA, it stands for Metropolitan Statistical Area. We've got about 15 in, in South Africa. There's 340 in America. Okay, it's a massive place. And so even if the opportunity in one place runs out, there's no reason why our partners who are you know, entrepreneurial by nature won't go and find another opportunity. I mean, we're, we're the, by far the premier uh, family destination in the world and that's, Disney's been our anchor for a long time and it really kind of filters down to every other industry. Uh, their level of service and the cleanliness and everything else. So that's just always the way the city's always been. The census projections for Florida are for, to expand from 18 million to 28 million in just the next 17 years. We're in 2013, so 17 more years. That has a lot to do with the baby boomers. Uh, you guys are familiar with that term? It's basically the folks that were born after World War II who, were at, who hit retirement age in 2011 is actually when they started. Uh, but they have that's just for the people that you know could afford to retire early or what have you. The majority of them are going to start retiring in the next five to ten years. And what's going to happen is if they're, no matter where they're from, northeast, northwest, wherever, most likely they're going to want to go where there's good climate, which we have, obviously, uh, golf courses, uh, affordable housing, which we have, and uh, the important thing is no state income tax. The reason we, that we were able to do that, uh, is that when other states can't, is because of our tourism. The hotels and all these uh, different uh, uh, venues, we charge uh, a higher tax to uh, tourists, and therefore the residents of Florida, like myself, do, do not pay a state income tax. And the reason that's important is because all the baby boomers that are coming, their retirement dollars go further because they don't have a state income tax. They're used to that wherever they are, and their money just goes further with whatever their annuities are, whatever they're being paid is going to go a lot further. Um, Orlando Airport processes 50 million people uh, per year. Who here would just think that basically based on tourism, the market would be quite transient? You know, like a ski village, you know, people will come in and leave and the workforce will come in and leave. I think it's a pretty common, you know, I thought the same thing. So I told you the numbers for Vegas. I mean, Vegas basically used to have about 50 million people per year coming through. During the crash, it dropped to 20 million. Okay, currently it's recovered, it's at about 30 million. Okay, just to, just to where it is. So you can see the huge impact, like I told you in 2010, in terms of the people leaving and the impact on rental demand. Orlando, at the peak, had 51 million people going through the airport and was absolutely devastated by the global financial crisis because at the bottom of the, uh, of the, right at the bottom of the global financial crisis, they had 49 million people come through the airport. Okay, so since Disney World was opened in 1971, they've never had less than 100,000 people come through the door every single day. So who are our tenants? Our tenants are people earning 30 to $50,000 working in the theme parks, full-time, long-term, you know, that, that's who you're dealing with. And uh, today was very informative. 
I found that it answered a lot of the questions I've, I've wanted to have answered with regards to investing in the USA, particularly in property. And for me, it's, it's really made it much more accessible to, to be able to invest and to be able to make decisions, informed decisions, and it's taken a whole lot of risk out of the equation, which before I uh, was very, very afraid of. And although you can see a gap in the market, it's difficult to execute on that gap without the knowledge, without the, the bridge, so to speak, to that opportunity. And I think um, the this, this seminars really helped bridge that gap. It's easy to buy and sell. South Africa, plus minus three months if there's no strikes, would you agree with me? Three months, yeah? America? How long? Four days. Four days to transfer property. You buy it on the Monday, you own it by the Friday. We tell South Africans it takes two weeks because you can't fill in the paperwork quick enough. It's easy to visit. We've got people in this room. I think Henny's on a 10-year business visa. Brendan's on a 10-year holiday visa. The bottom line is you can get 10-year visas. Low taxes. Uh, top 10 cities to invest in real estate according to Business 2.0. Uh, no major run-ups in the prices. It's a home to more Fortune 500 companies than Los Angeles. One of the top five rental return on investment markets in the U.S. The overall cost of living is 10% lower than the national average, and it also has no state income tax, just like Florida. 62% of the population in the city of Memphis rents. It's a major center for medicine and biomedical field. Uh, we have a five-year appreciation uh, currently of 18.76%. Memphis market typically over the last 10 years has increased 4%. And uh, whereas some of these other markets like California in general and Las Vegas, for instance, uh, had this very, very high appreciation of property. And uh, when the mortgage meltdown hit, just boom, hit bottom. Uh, that didn't really happen in Memphis. Yeah, we felt the impact of the mortgage meltdown because the financing wasn't readily available for U.S. citizens anymore. But other than that, it, it didn't really hurt us too bad in terms of uh, the capital growth aspect. Now, it has the ninth most foreclosures with one in 49 homes in foreclosure, according to Realty Track. Um, in, in terms of affordable housing, it, it, it is also number one uh, for affordable housing for retirees. Very informative workshop uh, organized by IPS. I run a small business on computer animation and I'm always looking for other opportunities or options to diversify whatever little money I have, looking for the future for me and my family. And today we heard about all the opportunities of investing in the States and more importantly, how to do that. And I think definitely the most important is the people that can assist us with that. I think that was a very, very valuable information for me because it's very daunting to try that, to do that on your own. But after attending here, I can clearly see people who I could work with, who could actually assist me and guide me on the right way and in the right areas to invest. So I'm really very optimistic about it and now I must just get my ducks in a row. And then lastly, I've been through Clem Santa. It's low risk, high reward in terms of where we are. But Atlanta, Georgia is the economic center of that hub. It's like the Tokyo of that Japan. If you've never been there before, it was the fastest growing metro statistic area of the 340 some in the whole US. It grew by a million people from the year 2000 to 2010. There's about five and a half million population in the greater Atlanta market. The economic base is very wide, so we're not hinging on one industry or one sector or one or two companies. You have a lot of different companies representing a good cross-section of industry, and a lot of those brands here, they're all headquartered in Atlanta. It hosts about 70, a presence of 75% of the Fortune 500 companies in the United States. So it's a fast-growing it's a fast growing city, and the reason is because of two things. The cost of living, it's about 6% lower than the national average, and you have very comfortable climates. So similar to Florida, your year-round temperature is about 72 degrees year-round. I think that translates to like 22 Celsius. That's pretty comfortable, right? So you have all four seasons, 
They're very mild seasons, very distinct seasons, but you're not shoveling snow or scraping ice in the wintertime. So it's attracting a lot of baby boomers from the Northeast, and it's also attracting the most important demographic or is the young educated worker, the college graduate age 22 to 28. They make 13% more in Atlanta than anywhere else in the country, yet the cost of living is lower than the rest of the country. That's why you have a lot of um, people migrating from the Rust Belt states like Detroit uh, and Illinois and so forth. They're coming down south to places like Atlanta to work. Uh, excellent. It's a very good day for me. Uh, most informative. I'm a South African living in Australia who's come back to uh, look at options and found it most informative. I got more out of this session here than the information I found in Australia about investing in the US um, and like the structures and the supporting partners that have been brought to the table and certainly something I'm going to pursue over the next uh, couple of months I guess. Um, this was really a very, that this was the best experience for me. Uh, I like the I like the conference. I like what I've I've, I've had and learned from this conference, and uh, definitely the property market is the one that I want to really invest in, and I'm gonna go for it. If I had a way of buying a couple hundred thousand single-family homes, and I, and had a way of managing. The management is enormous. It's really a problem because they're one by one. They're not like apartment houses. So, but I would load up on them, and I would I would take mortgages out at very very low rates. But but uh, if if anybody is thinking about buying homes five years ago, they couldn't buy them fast enough because they thought they were going to go up, and now they don't buy them because they think they're going to go down. And interest rates are far lower. Uh, it's a way, in effect, to short the dollar because you can you can take a 30-year mortgage. And if it turns out your interest rate's too high next week, you refinance lower. And if it turns out it's, it's too low, the other guy's stuck with it for 30 years. So it, it's a very attractive asset class now.